You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. Do you guys see that shit? Do you guys see how incredible the facial animations were in this game? I mean, this was a 360 title, a Xbox 360 and PS3 title, and it's 10 years old, and the facial animations look better some than some of the games that we get nowadays on the next generation of consoles. 2022, and there's still games that don't look nearly as good. And I'm not talking about the graphics necessarily. I'm talking about mainly that facial technology that they used. I don't know exactly what it was called, but it was, it was top-notch, some of the best stuff we've ever seen still to this day and I uh, I think I kind of took it for granted because most games do not have that in most games the characters faces you know it looks like they're a robot or looks like they're having an aneurysm or something crazy they don't look nearly as good is what I'm trying to say but I was replaying LA Noir recently and I got to thinking this is like the forgotten rockstar game this is the one that nobody really talks about uh, I know it does have like a fan base and I'm one of those people. This game is probably in my top five favorite games ever. It was that good. I played through it three times. I'm actually playing through it for my fourth time right now and that's why I got to thinking. Will we ever get another one? I, I don't know. Like this was created by Team Bondi, which I don't know if they even exist anymore, but they made a fantastic game. Rockstar published it obviously, so they did have their you know, Rockstar's not going to publish a game unless they think it's going to be really good. And this game was definitely that. It was phenomenal. Um, the, the story mode, you know, going from different ranks in the police department as Cole Phelps, the story was just so good. I, I was like, at, it felt like I was watching a movie, and that's one thing Rockstar is known for, not just with this game. Red Dead Redemption, GTA, it's like that... It's like you're watching a movie, but you're a part of it. I, I really don't know how to explain it, but they're the best at that. It's like every time I got off my, my system and I was done for the day, I was like, no, let me just play one more mission. That's what this game did so well. And it was probably the most immersive game I've ever played in my life. And what I mean by that is, like when I played this game, it took place in the 1940s, Los Angeles, obviously. And it really felt like I was a part of that. Like when I put my headset on and I stared at my 40 inch TV I felt like I was in that world I felt like I was running around Los Angeles as a cop you know shooting people actually you can't shoot people in this game but that's the one thing I remember when I played this game at first I was like a teenager and I was like oh that looks like a, a GTA styled game let me buy it and then obviously you were a, a cop so you can't really do that stuff but um yeah, you can free roam and all of that. You just can't really shoot <laughs> shoot civilians and stuff like GTA. You're basically on the other side of, um, you know, in GTA, you're like the, the criminal and doing all that stuff. In this game, you're solving all the crimes and, and being a detective and interviewing people and uh, investigating. It's just, if you guys haven't played this game, I'm sure you've heard about it at least. And trust me, till this, it still holds up to this day. One of the best games ever. You will not be disappointed. It's got about like a 20 to 25 hour campaign. It is some of the best storytelling, some of the best character development. Uh, Cole Phelps and, and the different characters you're partnered with throughout the game. It's just so good. And uh, I hope we see a sequel. Um, but the way Rockstar is going nowadays, I honestly am not getting my hopes up. I mean, it has been 10 years since the last GTA game, and we know that's like their money cow. They're making most of their money from GTA 5. So if they haven't made a GTA, another GTA in 10 years, I don't think we should be holding our breath for, for LA Noir, to be honest. But I would absolutely love if they made a sequel for this game. I feel like it's like the forgotten Rockstar game. This and like Bully are like the two that don't get mentioned a lot. Even though they have a big fan base and, and people are begging. I mean, I get on my hands and knees every single night. I'm like, please, I pray to the gaming gods. Can we get an L.A. Noir 2? Can we get a Bully 2? But of course, I, I never hear anything. And if we do, it's like rumors and then it's canceled or it was in development and then it's not. I'm like, you know, shit, I want one of those. I need one of these uh, games to get a sequel. So... Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Did you guys like this game? Was it one of your favorites? Um, do you think we'll ever see a sequel? I don't. Again, I don't know if Team Bonnie even exists anymore. So it would probably. But I know, I know Rockstar has the rights to this, this um, game now. So they could do a sequel if they ever choose to. 
and I hope I hope that happens because again it was one of the best games I've ever played still to this day on my fourth playthrough I am absolutely enjoying it so yeah just wanted to make a video saying that uh, LA Noir needs a sequel hopefully in the next 20 years while I'm still alive or whatever <laughs> we see one so yeah I know Rockstar is probably going to do a GTA uh, next and then probably a Red Dead Redemption so we might not see it for a while but uh, here's to hoping so I'll, uh, I'll kiss you later and peace go on try to deny it check with Dick Matal sorry <laughs>